Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for mid-April, um, out probably about two to three weeks. It is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future. We'll clarify that, and then we'll get into you and your person or whoever's on your mind and see what's going on there. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps. I appreciate you all so much. If you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys. All right, so the recent past, we have the King of Wands. It's funny because I had this image in my mind about the Queen of Wands. So there's something about your energy over the next couple of weeks that may be drawing people in. You may not understand why, but there's just something about your, your fiery passion about something that you do. There's... It's like your energy is drawing this in. So the King of Wands could be someone who's really who's really on top of their game, or this could be an energy of someone who's extremely attracted to you. And it may seem as though their energy shows up a little bit stronger than it normally does on that front. Now, the Three of Swords is coming out after that. So there's something that's a, a little bit frustrating that may have been going on. Maybe you were really passionate about something and you're feeling slightly disappointed in how it's going, but the magician underneath is telling me that you're not going to give up, uh, especially with that King of Wands energy. It's like, no matter what, you have such a drive and such a passion, even though it can be really frustrating or painful at times, it's like, there's a sense that you just aren't going to give up. Even in that moment when you feel like you really need to, because you've been through so much, the magician shows back up and says, nope, because spirit's got your back and is still pressing you to keep pushing on. So the current energy, we have the lovers. See, that's where I, I felt somebody has an attraction to you. You may be unaware of it. Yeah, because the page of pentacles under that means that somebody's not approaching you yet. Now, if you know who this person is, or even if you don't, somebody's just finding what you're doing, something about your energy really inviting and attractive. So the two of wands in reverse underneath the lovers and the page of pentacles. I think there's a fear that if somebody approaches you, that you may not have the same feelings. Now, this can also indicate a sense of not wanting to take action towards anything that you don't see a future with. So some of you could be in that moment too. If you're single and you may not just be feeling like you really want to push want to push forward into something. The Three of Swords could say that, you know, any hurt and pain that you may have felt is um, needing a little bit of nurturing, maybe some healing before you push forward. Maybe in this case too, you felt like as much effort as you had put in things in the past, they didn't really end up having the future that you had hoped for. All right, so let's look at the near future. The Eight of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. There's some kind of truth that's going to come to light. And I have a feeling, although I sense that somebody does not want to walk away from this, it could be you or your person, there's a sense of being betrayed or feeling betrayed and needing truth around some something. I feel like this is somebody else's energy with the King of Swords. doesn't have to be a male. It just is a truth that needs to be had. So if you're the one that's been frustrated and feeling a little overwhelmed or a little bit like I just need to be done, there's still a sense of I'm not sure I have the ability to walk away. Others of you, you may just say this hurts too much. I finally found the clarity that I need and already are taking steps in the near future to walk away. All right, now it could just be around emotional energies involved in the situation, but most likely this, this feels more action oriented than it does um, mental or just dealing with an emotion. So the overall energy is the fool. So spirit's like, take a chance on being honest, being upfront and figuring out your truth. 
because the Queen of Swords in reverse with the King of Swords in the upright right here tells me that somebody's holding back and the other person is kind of showing up the way that they are, meaning they're telling you who they are in a sense. It may not be verbally, but a part of you is not speaking up about how you feel. So I think you need some, some clarity, some honesty within yourself. And they're saying, take a chance, a approach the situation, have an open, honest conversation. Cause I don't think you're going to get anything but the truth from the other person. It's going to take a lot of strength. It feels like to take this chance, maybe to take the, the opportunity to step away Maybe you haven't been honest with yourself about what's going on. And I think there's a part of you that might finally in the near future decide that you have to be done with it for whatever reasons. You could be dealing with a Leo, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. We have a lot of Libra, Gemini and Aquarius energy. Could be Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. The sign doesn't really matter. They all pretty much show up in the readings anyway. But this is going to take a lot of strength. Not saying that it's not going to. And if you do decide that you finally have to step away from this situation, it's you're going to need to muster up the courage. But there's something about needing to change this particular cycle. So if you've been feeling kind of overwhelmed, um, overburdened, it's because something's trying to push you in a new direction. And it's saying that you're going to need a not uh, you're going to need a not you're going to need a lot of courage and strength to get through that. All right. But the full being the overall energy means that there you're going to be given opportunities to really kind of fly by the seat of your pants, take an, a, a chance. Even if it feels uncomfortable, I think you're going to push yourself in that direction. So the king of wands with the 3 of swords and the magician, in the past you may have tried really hard to work something out because of the passion. Maybe there was a connection that was so deep, but it was still hurting you in some way. And it feels like there's a need to focus on the fact that there was definitely, or there is definitely a third party in it. And maybe a part of you wants to turn your back on it, that you could be losing passion for it or just realizing that no matter what, no matter how much you try to manifest the situation, it's just continuing to hurt. Now, in the current energy, Lovers, Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands, I think, again, this is a lot about you being honest with yourself about where things are going. If this is a current relationship for you and there is other energies involved, I think you're going to realize you need to pull back. You could also be realizing that this, this person is not participating the same way that you had hoped. And maybe now there's... The idea that you don't know where things are going and maybe you can't see the future, but a part of you doesn't really want to continue to put your energy in. And that's why the Ten of Swords shows up in the near future. It's like a part of you knows that things have got to be done. <clears throat> it's, it's a mixed energy. I hate to be stuttering over this, but it's kind of complicated is what it feels like. Let's see what we get when we clarify. So the King of Wands with the Three of Swords. Whoever this energy is for you, it seems like there's a lot of passion in there. Um, the Five of Wands. Now, this can be two different things. The Five of Wands can state that you're learning really valuable lessons around the situation. And it can also be that there is some drama or some fighting around the hurt that's being caused by it. But the passion is so much there that it's hard to give that up. It just seems like there's going to be drama or there was drama in the past because of that. Now, the Three of Swords with the Magician, we have the Ten of Cups because ultimately what you want is a coming together. If you were dealing with somebody who has another energy and you're trying to manifest this to come together because ultimately, obviously, this is what we want. And there's only two people in this picture. So, most people are not going to be open to extra energies involved, but your happiness, I think for you, you realize cannot go on if there is an exterior person there. Really what you want is something that's going to fulfill you in a one-on-one -on -one situation, which for most people, that's what they want. But true happiness is possible. Am I saying it's going to be with this person? I think that's what you're trying to manifest. So we don't know for sure. We'll see when we get into you and your person separately from the main reading. 
So the lovers with the page of pentacles in reverse, the five of pentacles, there's this nudge that is telling you that it's time to go. Um, both people could be dealing with a few abandonment issues. That could be it. But there's always something on the other side of that five of pentacles that is balanced because the next is the six of pentacles. So that says that what, what needs to be had is balance and not one person giving more than the other. And I think you probably realize that if you don't get away from this situation, even if you already have, you may be looking back and saying, I understand now why I had to, because there was not an equal give and take. Now, obviously, if somebody's got another energy in their surroundings, it's going to be hard for them to give everything to you. So there is a sense or an urgency or a feeling like I just need to get away from this because there may not be a future there. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is exactly it. It's like no movement, nothing going forward. Now you have to ask your question, yourself the question, do I do this? Do I stay here or do I leave? Now with the Eight of Cups, I can read this two different ways. It could say that you're not quite ready to, even though a part of you knows that you need to be done. And it's almost as if you need the other person to tell you this is it before you can actually walk away or at least leave the emotions of this um, at a certain place so that you can mind over matter, mind over heart type of situation. So it's like your brain is talking to you, but your emotions are telling you something different. The Eight of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Swords. The Four of Wands. I think some of you feel like this is going to come together. Maybe this person is married and has and or has someone who lives with them. And that could be the third party situation. And maybe that's what you're hoping and dreaming about with this person. That is also an opportunity to find that joy in the future once you decide that you want to put a stop to something. So the four of wands being with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords, it's like it's being done with any situation that isn't bringing you that kind of joy, that kind of Ten of Cups, Four of Wands energy. Two people being together as one, family orientation, um, happiness around the home life, things like that. So the next card is the King of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. So you've got somebody around you that is a little bit emotionally unavailable and even though the King of Swords is there, that's clarity and truth. But that person can also be a little cutting at times. So they could be very direct or they could say things that are hurtful. And maybe you're realizing that that's part of why you need to step away. Because they're really not as fully available because of whatever the situation is that they're involved in. All right, so... The main reading isn't really about work situations, but I do feel like if there's something going on in your work life that this is going to have a big effect on it because your emotions seem to be high and you're focused on what to do in this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this and we'll get into specifically you and your person. Well, this seems like a pretty clear message. All right. So the King of Wands... Like I said, there's something that's drawing people to you. And it could be that there's another energy that is attracted at this time to you. It's taking charge of your own physicality. Um, what creates that sensuous nature that you have. And wanting to be back in that place where you have power over that again. Which is really nice. But it does draw extra energies into your field. It's almost like a reminder that... There are other people out there that are attracted. Let's see. All right, so this is for Scorpio. So your person's energy is the Two of Pentacles. Not surprising. This is probably going to be very similar to the main reading. There's a lot of back and forth energy. Um... I don't know that this person really has the type of values, per se, that you may want. The Hierophant in reverse, maybe they don't believe in the same things that you believe in. Um, they may not also value the sanctity of marriage, if you will. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse just says that this is somebody who doesn't have a lot of patience with things. Uh, it could be that they lose their patience with you. The Page of Swords 
I think they hold things back and they don't always speak the truth. So just be aware of that. Their energy is definitely in and out. And then for you, it's this is a, the same message. I don't want to keep beating up the same thing, but it does seem like a lot of you are going through this where you're deciding to, you just have to leave the situation behind. Your intuition is kicking in and telling you that you need to do this because it's not bringing you the joy that you want anymore. And the King of Cups is saying that you need to pull back and take control of your emotions around this situation. Spirit's trying to show you with your intuitive hits that this is who you are. You know what you want. You know how to involve yourself emotionally with others. It's a very solid energy, but you haven't been moving towards the things that bring you that kind of joy. You know what you have to offer, basically. And that is a, a emotional stability. And I don't think this person has that right now. Three of Pentacles in reverse, wanting to rid the situation of any kind of interference or third party, the page of pentacles after that, and then the four of pentacles, wanting to hold on to something, but I feel as though there's such little offered in this, but holding on to that little bit that this person gives doesn't allow you to have what you need to be fulfilled. Even though you give of it, I don't feel like this person does. Yes, it can be very painful, and there's a lot of... Uh, internal battle about these situations this can also relate to something to do with work but i feel this is directly associated with a partnership there's definitely sadness and internal conflict around whether to hold on to this because you don't feel like this person brings as much to the table as you do probably emotionally all right let's see what other messages we get here it says very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now I think it's going to be important this decision is really going to be in your lap make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon this is indicating that very much attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully even though some of you may not be ready to move on if you're just in the midst of trying to decide whether you should leave this situation, you're becoming attractive in a, in a way that you know you have that, but it's like it's amplified right now. And I think that's Spirit's way of saying, listen, you draw in such attention in such a, a way that is, it comes so naturally to you. And being separated from this situation may allow you to understand that again, may help you see that, there are other people out there. I feel like there's been a little bit of tunnel vision when it comes to this connection. It says you deserve love. You are lovable. You do. And it, because you showed up as the king of cups, so full of love and so able to give so freely and maturely that if this person isn't figuring that out or it's not fulfilling the needs that you need to have met and they can't make that decision then that's on them. It usually, it listen, I always tell people it has nothing to do with you because somebody is that way. It's usually about a lesson that needs to be learned in valuing yourself and knowing what you have to offer. All right, let's see if there is going to be any kind of movement or other energy with your person. So the Eight of Wands means communication is going to slow down. It, it's like there's not a lot of action. It may be a small offer of love that comes towards you with the Four of Pentacles. But I feel like this person holds back. I don't think that they give of themselves completely. The Death in Reverse, um, there's your energy. It's like you, you're not really in your own element. The Six of Cups could be that um, this person's from your past or you are connected to them because of something to do with that's the indication is that there's something to do with your past and that's the reason for this connection or a reuniting of it page of wands in reverse i think you're losing your passion for it which means you're not as driven at this moment to make the effort so the overall energy is the world something needs to change if it hasn't already and i think you know that all right, so let's see what the Lover's Oracle says for you. 
All right, so we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Now, being healed and actually being together are two totally different things. We can heal on a spiritual level. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to be in a relationship in our human form. Time, you are trying too hard, give it time. All right, so maybe spirit's trying to say to release a little bit of the energy if you want to, I would never tell anybody to hold on to something that doesn't feel good to them, obviously, or to wait on anyone. Secret admire, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. See, that's what I was picking up in the main reading. There's someone around your energy that's really passionate about you, has probably been watching you for some time and just never spoken up and said how they feel, but they will. Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So there's some learning that you've needed to do with this person. And sometimes that can be a really tough pill to swallow when we realize that there's some actions or something in their behavior that mirrors something that we may have done. And it's just bringing it up to the surface for us to understand. Okay. I'm going to do one last card. We have only time will tell. Okay. So some of you may want to stick with this. If you feel like this connection is worth putting the effort in and this person's going to either separate from the third party or allow a third type of energy, and that could be work or something else that keeps their attention, and they're going to put the effort into you, you may want to wait it out and see if that's going to happen. Would never tell somebody to do that, like I said before, but... If that's what you feel like doing, that's your choice. That's your free will choice. Okay, so let's see what other messages we have. It says mending, so that reduces to a seven. So there's a lot around mending, but it could be mending your own heart. You could be born on the seventh. You could be 52. Regeneration, this is about new beginnings and rebuilding something. So something needs to start from the ground up is what it feels like. There needs to be a regeneration of energy, I think, on your part. You could be 46 or your person or the age could be that of your person or you you or your person could be 52. Sorry. Um, but this is about like going through the process and regenerating and saying, OK, taking those lessons. Did I learn something? Is it worth staying in this? Do I want a new beginning? It's all those questions that you ask yourself right before things change. No place like home. Um, you could be 50 or there's something around your home situation or that person feels like home to you. And that's hard to let go of when somebody really feels that connected to us. There could be something from your childhood if you've known them for that long and that's what it reminds you of. There's just some kind of a connection here. And then we have 31 the question why, yeah, we all ask that question, why? Why does the pain have to happen? Why do we have to go through these types of relationships? It's really hard in a tarot reading on YouTube to say to people, I really want to help people understand why they go through what they go through. Because when you're in the blows of it, it is so hard to understand why. Regardless of what lessons you're being taught, it still sucks. So the why I can get, you could be 31 or your birthday is, um, yeah, the 31st could be your birthday or your person's birthday. Let's see what other card. Message in a bottle, that reduces to a 15. You could be born on the 15th or the 6th could be significant for some of you, meaning June could be the time frame in which something gets settled. Either you choose to finally break this off or there has to be some kind of truth spoken in order for the two of you to mend things and start over like from the ground. Really build this up. All right, so those were your messages. I hope this helps. I know this is difficult. It's not always um, butterflies and rainbows in these readings, but I think it's significant for some of you that are going through this process of trying to make a choice about whether to let this go or not. So I love you guys so much. Um, thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or in my about section. I do hope you have a good two weeks. Obviously, you've got some big decisions to make, so I'm sending you all my love, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.